This July, Volkswagen gave European motorsport fans the chance to see their IDR prototype in the flesh at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The car set a new electric record on the famous English hill climb course. Just three weeks earlier, it had been in Colorado at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, where experienced sports car racer Roman Duma had steered BW into the history books. It was uh, the fourth time that I'm driving in Pikes Peak, and um, yeah, I'm winning it with this new technology. It was a lot of stress because it's 20 kilometers. You start at 2,400 meters, you finish at more than 4,000 meters. Everything needs to fit together, tires, brake, driver, setup of the car, confidence to have a good lap time. So it's a lot of stress for all the people around the car because they know they have only one chance. And uh, yeah, if you miss your chance, you have to wait for one more year. The 12 mile race to the clouds takes place in June each year, but VW's preparation for the challenge had begun nine months earlier in an effort to ensure that they could successfully prove the new technology on America's mountain. The technology involved was all new. And I have to say, straight we start to test, I realized that the car would be very, very fast. But we had a lot of issue with the car at the start. And for, for that, I have to say, the team made a crazy, incredible job, so much you know, effort to try to fix all these problems who are completely new, you know, two e-motor, different battery from the front to the rear, also the brake balance and so on with the brake by wise. It was very incredible how they push and how they walk, but I would say even on Pikes Peak at the start line, none of us were sure that we get to the reach the top. The nerves of race day and a long wait on the start line made for a lonely experience for the 40-year-old Frenchman. As he finally set off, ahead lay the treacherous 12.4-mile Pikes Peak course, climbing to 14,000 feet. Duma had the advantage that his electric prototype wouldn't lose power like combustion engines in the thinner air. But the IDR presented him with a different set of problems, as he raced up the mountain, averaging over 90 miles per hour. It's a completely different car to drive. Why is that? Because you have no gears, no noise. So you're only feeling, you're only feedback it's just your visibility, you know, to judge the speed. So you don't know at which minimum speed you have, you don't know if you are quicker, slower. So it's always about feeling, about pushing. And for that, I have to say, it was very difficult. I knew that it was dangerous, that bike speed is dangerous. At the end of the day, I always said, I don't want, you know, to, to crash. I'm not crazy, and so I just need to do what I know, what I want to do. And uh, yeah, after I feel good on a car, I have to say, I have no, you know, scare moment during all the week. A little bit at the race, I had one time a left happen that I break very late, but the rest was okay, you know. And when I saw the video from the helicopter, I was at this time very scared, but luckily it was a Monday after the race. <laughs> Duma knew what it meant to the VW team, and despite the pressure he was under, he delivered. He not only smashed Reese Millen's two-year-old electric record, but beat Sebastian Loeb's five-year-old outright record by 15 seconds too, in a time of 7 minutes 57.148. It was uh, the most stressful race, because in Pikes Peak you have only one chance, one try. You know, when suddenly you close the door, the driver has all the responsibility. It's very hard to accept, but it's true. But finally, I will enjoy my job because this is a job. And I can tell you, when I saw the flag, I didn't know about the time. I, I knew and felt that it was okay. But yeah, I was very happy for the team because they, they deserve this win also.